Welcome back everybody, this is Steve KM9G and today is firmware day. I am going to run through the firmware install real quick. Um, how to burn the SD card, the, the SD card uh, is in my previous video which I will link up above for your viewing enjoyment, but it's it's burning an SD card. You guys have seen a million videos on burning an SD card and if you were paying attention to the channel, you've seen at least two that I've done, maybe more. So. What you need to do is turn your radio off. So let's turn it off. I'm gonna turn my power supply on just so we have some external power going. I've got it plugged in over here to external power. And then take your SD card and put it in the radio. And let's turn it on. You know what? I'm gonna do one more thing, hang tight. All right, got everything all reset up here. And what I did was I put up the, over there? No, over there. I put up the uh, serial console so we can see if anything happens on the first boot on the radio itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. The SD card is already installed. Let's turn it on. Power up, booting from MMC1, MMC0, reading kernel image, going through the boot scripts. It still starts Nginx for a uh, firmware upgrade. Nice. And it's doing the firmware upgrade on the screen. I gotta kinda look around the camera. Doing the untar now, with all the files zooming on by. And if you do log into the radio, you will see that this is a script that is fired from init tab um, to go do this upgrade work here. And it looks like there are a couple of partitions created out of the file system. This USB bbus one disabling thing, that happens every time this radio boots up. I still don't know what that is. Just untarn files. Any progress is good progress. All right, power off. Three, two, one, zero. And it's powering off. All right, so take the SD card out, because if you leave this in, it's just going to redo the firmware update. At least that's the way it was last time. You know what? Let's check that, because I have all the patience in the world. I've got my SD card holder for all the different firmwares that I've been playing with on here. Let's get this thing booted up. It's going to do the firmware update again. There's a really easy way to test to see if the firmware update has been done already and not do it, or to stop and ask you to like press one of the many buttons on the radio to proceed. So we'll be back after this part's done. All right, powered off this time. Card out and put away. There'll be a link in the description down below for the SD card holder. Let's turn this thing back on. Power up. All right, and we are in. Did they change the root password? They did not. Awesome. All right, so we've got some volume there. Let's turn the volume back down. And let's look at some of the new features that are in the firmware. That's going to be really hard to read. Right, that's a little bit easier to read. This is a running change log of the firmware that they've changed. They've added Wi-Fi. Let's go find Wi-Fi. And I got to look around the camera. So pardon me for a second while I do that. System setting. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I don't even know why this is here already. I haven't done the software upgrade. Let's do the second part of this. And that is 2021-12-27-002. Let's pick that. And then let's, what is this previous and next for? Like there's going to be pages of, of firmware apps. We could make that happen. Upgrade, All right, 100% done. I'm going to quit. I'm going to exit. I'm going to reboot just to be safe. I think I'm going to reboot. There we go. All right, now let's go into system settings, system info. Oh, that baseband is weird. And the app is version 111, December 28th, 2021. Exit. Let's do the base is what you install from the SD card, and the app is what we just installed. So there's not much I can do about that corrupted version there. But that was 111 instead of 110. So we're making a little bit of progress. WLAN. All right, Wi Fi switch. Edit. Okay, so now I turn Wi Fi on, I think. That would not have been how I would have thought to do that. It has found my hotspot. Trying to connect. Trying to connect. It's lost my hotspot. Let's scan again. Okay. But that's interesting. Okay, so it looks like I can't change what thing I am on, on the screen, what thing I want to edit. So how am I supposed to get down there and do that? Config, config, PHCP, edit, okay. Password, config, 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 config. Let's get back to password, edit. All right, we'll be back after we finish editing these passwords. All right, I put in the password and it has connected. 
All right, let me get out of this screen and then we will start showing some other stuff as to whether or not this thing can actually like do network time protocol or something like it had indicated it was gonna try before. All right, now we're back at the system settings menu. Let's do time setting and there isn't any NTP update option. It has two different NTP servers, pool.ntp.org and asia.pool.ntp.org. So it's gonna try and look at the pool to find the nearest one to me. And then it's gonna try and look at the Asia pool to find the nearest one in Asia to me, which is fine. Let's hit okay. And it doesn't give me the ability yet to hit the NTP update button right there to actually go out and get the time and set it because I know the time's wrong on it. Okay, go over to Bluetooth and see what Bluetooth looks like. Okay, let's turn Bluetooth on. And right now there aren't any devices that are broadcasting that they're Bluetooth. Let me find my Bluetooth headset. So I have a Plantronics Bluetooth headset. Plantronics is like the largest headset vendor on the planet. Because this is, they, they sell business headset, business class headsets. And offices everywhere hand these things out like candy to new employees whenever they need a headset. I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to turn it it on and hold it up for pairing mode pairing and it's blinking like it's trying to do something let's hit connect connect to the nothing on the list exit bluetooth okay we're going to turn these off again we're going to turn them on and put it into pairing mode see i don't have an option to scan for any bluetooth devices let's see if it's the other way around let's look on the computer we bring up bluetooth preferences this GSOC BT was from when I was pairing it on my own in a previous video. I'll link that one up above as well. Um, see if it shows up. So this PLT Focus is the name of the headset. We can connect that. And look, it connects just fine. And now we can see it down here. Let's connect it down there. And then there's my computer that I can connect to. So let's, why is it not showing up on the computer screen over here? Okay, let's connect to the computer. Let's see what that has, see what that does, anything. Okay, and renamed the GSOC BT to X6100 Bluetooth. Hit connect, and now we are connected. Excellent. Okay, let's go into audio settings. Sound. So it shows up as an input, and it's getting input. So let's go out of here. That means that it's working. Let's do radio setting, microphone select, built in, handle, auto, 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 built in. Handle. There's no handle plugged in. So interesting that it's getting that. And then let's look at output. I don't see output for the radio, only input. That's strange. So I can receive audio in. I don't know if you see this or not, but we're at zero, zero volts still. So that bug hasn't been fixed. Okay. Let's load up WSJTX and see if it sees a Bluetooth serial port or not. Get rid of that. Let's bring this over here. Bring this over here. It cancel and it goes away cancels the wrong button to hit it gets me every time configurations to references radio we have bluetooth incoming port tu and tty okay try cu try tty look at audio devices not there for input and it's not there for output did we lose connection we lost connection connection failed let's go back into bluetooth Bluetooth is still on. The radio is only a few inches below the computer that I'm doing all this editing on. All right, let's connect there, connect, and we're now connected again. Pick anything, hit built-in microphone for, <laughs> that's kind of funny, built-in output. I'm just gonna do You guys are all gonna decode FT8 in your heads, along with me. All right, let's go back into settings. What I was trying to do was clear away the box to bring up the box so it would re-enumerate the devices. Give it a fighting chance. Hey, it's still not there. And there's an error. Hey, it's still not there. That error is from rig control. Let's see if we get anything over here. And connection issue. Do TTY test. Radio says that we are still connected. Leave that. Nope, that failed. Let's do CU test. We'll let that run for a bit. Do we have? We have no audio settings here. No audio settings here. So we're kind of stuck on that. Okay, so we have an update to where we can now enter in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi info into the radio, but we still really can't do anything with it. Did the time setting ever come back? Still have no ability to pick a time setting. And my clock is still 0013, which it is not 0013 as of this recording. So 
Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, they've added it to the user interface, but they have not added it to working on the radio. We kind of already knew from previous videos here that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth weren't working well. Uh, I have been able to get them to work. I have seen the uh, audio input and output devices. I have seen the um, serial control, but haven't had any luck getting them to work. And then let's see, fixed a bug that cannot save the user selected filter group. Let's do filter and I'm gonna make my own version of filter one. I'm gonna shrink it down as far as I can. All right, so now we're we're expecting zero audio input from the radio. And then let's close, I guess. Let's go back into filters. Filter one is saved, filter two is normal, filter three is normal, filter one is saved. Let's reboot the radio. Making noises. Oh, I caught it in the middle of doing something. It was much slower to boot up that time. Maybe it's because Wi-Fi is on and it's trying to find a IP address. So we're at zero volts still. Um, let's see. Going to system setting, time setting, no change there. Go into system info, no change there. Let's go into firmware upgrade, no WLAN. The password is now starred out where before it was not blanked out. And we are connected, and that is not the proper IP address. Let's hit config config which seems like an odd workflow let's hit edit to turn that on let's hit disconnect I'm waiting for it to turn white again let's hit connect it's trying dhcp went back off again disconnect big config 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 edit that okay, nice connect and that ip address is it's connected that ip address is wrong exit check out bluetooth bluetooth is still on this time connect Yes, I would like to connect. And it says we're paired and connected. Excellent. Let's try one more time because we like pain. Do configurations, preferences, no audio, no audio, no new ports. Let's try the CU port. That failed. Try the TTY port. And that failed. Okay, so we've got no joy on Bluetooth or on Wi Fi, which is kind of. Where we were before with this, where we've made a little tiny bit of progress, you have the ability to type it into the screen, but you don't have much ability to, to go beyond that. I don't know. What else is in here? Optimized ALC algorithm and corrected the problem of power rise slow. I don't have any way to demonstrate that because I recently blew up my XPA125 amplifier that has the ALC circuit. So when that gets fixed, we'll test that one out. Optimized the system settings. Okay, system settings. Not really sure what in here would be different because we have this WLAN thing that we had before, that we did not have before. I can't exit, exit. We have this Bluetooth thing and we have factory reset. Let's try factory reset. I guess it just turns itself off. It doesn't actually turn itself back on. Well, the factory reset worked. Can't do that still. On. Connect is set up already. DHCP, turn that on. Disconnect. Connect. Still not the right IP address. Wait for it to turn white. Still not the right IP address. Bluetooth is off now. Turn it on. Not really sure how it could scan for things on Bluetooth when Bluetooth was not turned on, but okay. Let's see if it's going to connect again. Okay, I don't know what they mean by optimize the system settings. Doesn't really seem to be all that optimized to me. One last chance in WSJTX. References. Test. TTY, let's wait for that while we look over here. Still no devices there. That one didn't work. TTY, let's do CU. Hmm. And that didn't work. Okay, so prognosis negative. Still not really sure what to recommend. This radio is an interesting playground. I like it for that purpose. It does the radio thing. I like it for that purpose. It does not do the things that I was told it would do that I paid for. I do not like it for that purpose. We are making this a better radio. We already have the open transmit mod for this over on Toad's Discord. I will upload it into the GitHub repository. I can get you $15 off the radio if you purchase it through my discount code down below. It is fun to play with, but if you're thinking about radioing right out of the box, it will do it. If you're thinking about radioing right out of the box and doing all the things that they said you could do with it, it won't do that. What are you gonna use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for? I've got lots of ideas, lots of amazing potential I see in this radio and we will make it happen. Um, so if you are subscribed to the channel, you will see updates coming by fast and furiously as I do more things with this radio. I was really hoping that this would have fixed something internally, but it doesn't appear to have made much of a difference. 
So I'm going to continue to recommend passing on this firmware update. There are some uh, channels linked in the description down below. We've got budget comms and I'm going to get the call sign wrong. Hang on one second. Yeah, budget comms and digital ham radio diary M0FXB. This is the budget comms channel. Um, make sure that you are subscribed and you ring the bell for these guys and you are all set to go um, for more updates. We're going to make this thing awesome. Thank you for all your help. See you in the next one.